Hello, and welcome to The Dentrepreneur Show. Hello, and welcome to The Dentrepreneur Podcast. This is Dr. D. Todd Russell. With me today is a fantastic gentleman who I've had the pleasure to work not only work with, but spend some time with, um, unfortunately, not on the golf course where I'd like to spend some time with him, but um, in, in conversations over the years. Please welcome uh, Mr. John Blair. John, welcome to my show. Oh, thanks, Todd. Thanks for having me. By the way, before we start, what's your golf handicap index right now? Oh, you're killing it. Let's just put that out there. Really? All right, I'll get it out there. It's a round of 15 index. All right. All right, I'm not a great, I'm not the best golfer in the world. My excuse is I had a reconstructed shoulder last year and just haven't recovered yet. But this year I'm laser focused. <laughs> I got to get it down into that single digit, but we'll see. And oh, let's reciprocate. Where are you, Mr. Blair? I'm just a few lower, but you know. Just a few. Yeah, yeah just a few lower. Uh, folks out there, when I do run into John for these snippets of conversations over the years, it's always as either of us are beginning or ending the round. And what everybody tells me is, oh, Mr. Blair was just here. He just left. And that seems to be every day. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. I, I'm just I, kidding. I wish. Yeah, I know you do. That's my dream. So, John, your company, John Blair and Associates, I know it has your two sons are involved and you've been doing this for over 30 years now. You've got countless uh, dozens of clients currently um, but over the years, I mean, tell us a little about John Blair and Associates. Sure. So we've been uh, around, give or take, 28, 29 years. Our mission, so to speak, if you summarize it up in one sentence, is to teach our doctors and staff comprehensive business, leadership, and people skills for the purpose of operating profitable and professionally fulfilling practices. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, what does that mean, uh, you know, as far as our services? We're typically hired by private practice only doctors. It could be a small solo venue, it could be a large group to help them achieve their goals long term. And by goals, I mean it could be the staff of their dreams, it could be financial um, independence by the time they're 55 to 60, uh, it could be expansion. It could be higher case acceptance, given all the dentistry they propose that they're hoping to get done and get in the schedule. Generally, it can mean just more fulfillment as a practitioner, a less stress, more efficient use of the time. My sell side, right? I mean, you're also somewhat of a broker. You've, you've Correct. That's how you and I actually met, was over a practice that my company acquired. That's right. So the bread and butter is the training, and the coaching services for the doctors. Then we also have two other sort of segments, and that is we'll help uh, prepare a dentist to broker, find the buyer, so to speak, and all that goes in that. In addition, uh, my son Kyle, along with Kelly, they help procure associate doctors for practitioners who need uh, associates. So it's sort of a three-pronged approach, training and coaching, systems implementation, help get the practice prepared to sell and get it sold. In addition, procure associate doctors for practices that need providers. And that's a great segue into my first and main question for this uh, uh, small part of our show today. If you were a dentist or a small business owner, okay, and, and let's face it, I, I've got friends that are in uh, physical therapy uh, centers and or chiropractors or podiatrists, independent practitioners. Um, at what point in your career would you start thinking about an exit? You just mentioned the associate and end stage of your career. When do you think is a good time for my colleagues and those in the small business world to think about an exit? So I think you have to back up a little bit, Todd, and think about two things. Personally, what are you looking for in your life? And then professionally, what are your needs? So if you were to say to yourself, hey, I'm a dentist, uh, I've started doing dentistry at 28 years old, essentially, and I'd prefer to get out before the eyes go, the hands go, the back is sore, let's say 30, 35 years, then you're 55 to 60 at that point. And then if uh, liquidating or selling the practice as we know it is part of the plan to add to the critical mass of savings, although it shouldn't be. We don't recommend that the sale of your practice is critical in your financial independence. Uh, and we're not financial planners, right? But it's a large asset. It might be one of the largest assets that a dentist might own. And so we believe it's important to prepare for the sale 
and then uh, maximize the value, the enterprise value of the practice. The short answer, Todd, to your question is five years, minimum five years to prepare for the potential sale of the office, whether it's to private equity, whether it's to a young, you know, it could be the associate doctor in the practice. It could be someone that's been practicing three or four, that's three or four years that's looking to buy right around that five-year mark. And that's And John, that's kind of what uh, prompted me to start this podcast is because so many of my colleagues are not prepared. You know that too. I actually like the year, I, I tell people it starts at age 35. That doesn't mean it's all done at 35, but it, at 35, the magic number is 59 and a half, right? That's the 401k, you know, tax advantage to start with, advantage to start withdrawing money. Right. Start at 35, you've got 25 years. The first 20 years, maybe 80% of it is done. 100% of the work, right? You're, you're, you're working that practice, you're driving it up, you're hiring associates you're, and, and employees, and you've got a good set of systems and metrics and all that stuff. It's the last five years then that the rest of it is really done. And maybe that is finding the right associate and getting them in or preparing for a private equity transition. Well, it could be tidying up systems. It could be that the, the, the physical plant is tattered, it needs some paint, carpet, uh, chairs recovered, and, you know, it can be little things or it could be a major overhaul, but generally start planning for the actual transition about 60 months in advance. Yeah, I think it would be great if we could encourage all of our young dentists at 35 years old to say, hey, what do you want to do long term? What do you want to do with your practice? What kind of financial independence are you looking for? What do you want to do with your life when you're not practicing anymore? Right. Some prefer to practice to 65, 70, as you know. That's fine. Yeah. Right? But have the financial independence in place yep. and then choose to continue to practice. I call it options instead of obligations. Yeah, right. you and I, I think we touched on this uh, a couple weeks ago or last week. You know, time and time again, I've gone in to evaluate a practice. I heard Dr. So and so is interested in selling to my company. So I go in. And like we said, the equipment is, you know, from 1964 and the culture of the staff is the same. And the doc's like, it used to do a million dollars. That's what it's worth because I haven't done, you know, extractions and root canals, but no, it's sorry, doc. It's not, you're down to two days a week. That's what it's worth. If you want to work two days a week, five years ago, 10 years ago, we should have sold it when it was doing five days a week to that associate. And then you could have paired back. And well said, absolutely. Day, you know? Yeah. So, well, John, um, this is just a teaser for today. So I want to thank you for these few minutes. It's a pleasure having you on here. Uh, I'm going to have you back countless times. I hope you're ready for it. But again, I appreciate it. And um, we'll be having you on in the near future. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Please follow or subscribe to this show on Spotify, Apple, or YouTube. If you would like further information or to meet with me one-on-one -on -one and discuss your practice, please feel free to contact me through my website, dentrepreneurllc.com. Many more exciting guests and topics are headed your way. 